I know painting with a balloon sounds absolutely ridiculous, but if you clicked, you're obviously interested enough to watch. So I'm going to show you how to paint with this. Hello, my name is Sarah, and if you're new here and want to learn more about pore painting, maybe find some new techniques or ideas, expand your creativity, or even unwind after a stressful day, then go ahead, subscribe. Please hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get started. So this is my titanium white. I never add silicone to this and this is just going to be for my negative space. In another video I will show you, go away balloon for now, I'll show you different techniques on how to do a balloon kiss, balloon smash, whatever you want to call it. It just happens like that. So now I'm just taking my spatula. Spreading out, see paint as best I can without dumping over too much. And Emily is over in the window. This should be interesting. Don't do anything dumb, cat. Please. <laughs> she talks, it's cute. So I'm just getting the edges out of habit and making sure like I guess the whole canvas is white in this case so if I do want to tilt it it has a place to run off to but I probably won't just because of the technique that I'm going for today so it's really not important that I get my edges all that much but at the same time just just a helpful thing so I picked up some new colors from Michael's the other day while I was there this is dioxazine purple in but, uh, Liquitex Basics, and this is Quinacridone Magenta, also in Liquitex Basics. Um, this is a pearlescent lavender lace pearl from Folk Art, and this is the color shift yellow. Uh, this is the also Liquitex Gold, and then I'm using fluorescent magenta in Riotech, and Riotech is just a Canadian brand that I like to use. So, first, I'm going to add blobs this way I guess to my canvas and see what happens now, this is gonna be a little bit boring but there's not much I can do about that I don't know if you can hear Emily in the background but it's kind of funny and this canvas size is a 9 inch by 12 inch canvas the other day when I was at my dad's, I was telling him about a painting I was doing, and I was like, oh, it's a 10 by 20. He's like, 10 by 20 feet? And I'm like, no, dad. 10 inches by 20 inches. Way to go. But that, that's just my dad, I guess. I don't know. I love him to death. So now I'm adding more colors. Different color blob. Why not? Make some big blobs, some small blobs. Blobs of all sorts sizes and stuff. I'm just kind of randomly going at this because that's the fun of pore painting. Randomness of things. I don't know where to add blobs anymore so I'm just adding stuff. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to add some gold into this Conacridone. Oh wait, no, that was the Dioxazine Purple. Dioxazine Purple and that's the Conacridone Magenta. Liquitex is moving away from heavy metals in their paints and that's why I was able to get well these two paints for oh so cheap and it was really nice I'm not even gonna lie and I love gold gold is such a pretty color or object I suppose I don't know I'm just trying to just randomly do this oh wow this pearlescent's really pearlescent god that's pretty Wow, this is different. I never even... <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's really nice, actually. Cool. <sighs> so, in a later video, I'm gonna show you, I guess, all the avail all the different methods on the balloon smash, because this one is just... Okay, that's where it wanted to be, and that's where it also wanted to be. And I'll leave it like that. Ooh, the sun's hitting it, and it looks so pretty! Okay, so now for... The bright pink! And then I'll probably go back in and add colors and spots again. Oh crap, I still haven't added my color shift. Ha! I really hope that didn't kill my recording. 
please be recording. Please be recording. Whew, my laptop kind of died for a second. I got a little worried. So, adding some bright pink where I can. Oh, wow, this is going to be quite the, uh, quite the painting with all these colors. I didn't think this one through. All right, color shift. Wow. She's bright. Um, okay. You can just smidge in there. This is the cool thing about, you know, with pore painting and having a negative space down. If you screw up, it just kind of pushes the other paints out of the way, and it's like, ooh, that's neat. All right, that's, um, there. Okay. It needs more of something. Okay. It's very light, so I'm going to add some more dark spots. Let me do stuff like this. Why not? Ah, meow! Emily is quite the talkative little cat today. But I guess she's allowed. She's cute. I think she's upset that I closed her window on her so I could do my painting. Oh no! I forgot to put parchment paper down. God! Okay. So, like I said, this is the starting of my balloon kiss adventure. I've never really done a balloon kiss painting before. I need to grab some paper towel. Maybe put on some gloves. Gloves sound like a good idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow! That actually hurt. Why do they do that in shows? That's not fun. All right. <sighs> where to start, where to start? Let's just start right here. Whoa. So, I did add su <laughs> silicone to this. It's just a matter of I don't know how much. to say the least. It's fun. I guess if you just hit the same spot a few times it kind of really does different stuffs. I really hope I don't have too much paint on here. It's kind of looking like that. Wow this is so cool. I'm so happy I decided to try this. This is so cool. You could see all the little silicone sh bubbles popping up and stuff. Wow. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh. I'm just wiping down my balloon so I don't really muddy the paint all that too much. <laughs> I already need more paper towel, but I think I'll be fine for now. Well, I didn't really get that line, so I'm gonna go in and hit the line. <laughs> this sounds funny. Wow, okay, that cr turned out really different. Okay, I gotta tilt this a little bit because otherwise it's gonna be wily. Alright, actually, I'm gonna add some of. It needs something here. And Emily's rolling around on the effing table. Add that. And add a little bit of that. Try again. Oh, I'm getting paint everywhere. Whatever. The joy of wearing gloves. Okay, now tilt, tilt. So I try to tape all my canvases. Keyword is try. Holy chunk! Where is my? Huh? Are they on the table? Must be. No, no, they are not. Crap. 
Well, let me use this one. Well, as you can see, there's a little chunkier. Right there. Out she comes. Now back to the tilting. I just painted my sleeves. Yeah, Emily, I just painted my sleeves. So the recording just kind of died. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. I have no idea where this left off. I'm so sorry. My laptop was being finicky. I need to grab a new glove. Um, I am in the process of trying to tilt this painting. Emily's rolling around on the table like a moron. Uh, I love my cat. So I finished the balloon smash. Do, do, do. I almost want to take you down so I can show you what she's doing. But. You're lucky you're cute. Move that there. I have no idea what she's doing. I think she's attacking her own shadow. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but yeah. Alright. Oh, she's playing with the light cord. Good stuff, Emily. faster. I'm sorry, I have really nothing to say. I'm really focused. This is what happens every time. I get so darn focused. So darn focused. So, I got a new headset so I could do these kinds of live paintings where you guys could... I just dripped into my colored... I just dripped into my, like, purple paint. I am so just... Why does this stuff have to happen to me? I guess it was my own fault in hindsight, but... Here, come on, just come off that bottom edge and I'll be happy. Please? Okay, fine, I'll help you. Sometimes just smushing the paint down like that and getting it to like roll over the edge itself just helps it down the road and then Yeah Because the silicone just likes to be finicky and the paint dries a little bit faster than I want it to Well I feel like now that I've spread it out I should kind of hit it again I didn't mean to do that. Coolio. I'm gonna get rid of my paint balloon so my cat doesn't, like, attack it. In all reality, my cats are kind of afraid of balloons, so it's a little... It's funny. It's interesting, to say the least. Alright. Torchy torch. Torch torch! So I torch it to bring out the silicone and the air bubbles. The whole idea is to do it kind of quickly so you don't burn your paint or heat it up too much to create like this weird skim I find that happens. Um, like I said earlier, this is the first time that I've started doing this, so I will link a video at the end where um, you can click on one of my other videos, the newer video still that has just kind of died off. Be nice for you guys to watch it. If like this video if you haven't already comment down below what you think of this balloon smash I'm gonna do more with it uh, look forward to my syringe technique that I will be pulling out soon um, yeah subscribe if you haven't already 
See you next time.